Whether you are a makeup artist, a model, or just a beauty lover looking to perfect your own portfolio or social media images, the MUA Retouch Panel will help you to do that with a professional approach and quality. This is not a replacement for Facetune. It is created for delicate, campaign-level retouching. This panel is designed with the makeup artist in mind. While leading you through professional retouching techniques, we don't use terminology that is foreign to you. All the buttons use common makeup names so that you can easily determine their mission, and all retouching scripts imitate the functionality and purposes of the actual makeup products and procedures. You don't need to be a Photoshop expert to be able to successfully use it. Our video tutorials will help you get to know the panel and how to use it. Each script is fully adjustable so that as you get more comfortable with their basic use, you can go further and get more creative when retouching your images with our panel. The panel has four main sections and we will walk you through each of them in this video. And for a deeper dive into the use of the buttons, please watch the respective video tutorials. At the very top of the panel, you have an area for the key retouching tools and basic corrections. The first set of buttons is used to brighten or darken the image by pressing the plus or minus signs respectively. You can also change the color temperature of your image and make it warmer or cooler by pressing the plus or minus buttons either side of the thermometer symbol. You then have access to some of the basic Photoshop tools and functions. The brush tool, the clone stamp tool, the healing brush tool, the spot healing brush tool, and the new layer icon. These tools are what you will use to clean up small blemishes, crosshairs, mascara crumbles under the eyes, and so on. Be sure to watch the video tutorial on how to work with these tools as each of them is best used for specific tasks, just like the makeup brushes in your makeup kit. The second section of buttons is dedicated to skin and color corrections. The resurface button was created to make correcting rough patches on the skin or lips easier and faster almost like a resurfacing exfoliant. You can use it to fix larger raised skin blemishes that have texture and color problems, or even scarring or a rash, which would be too broad to use just a simple retouching tool to fix. You can soften areas that have flaky and dry skin around the mouth or nostrils. You can fix chapped lips and also minimize the appearance of facial hair and peach fuzz, clean up the hairline of baby hairs, and even fix creases and folds in the model's garments when needed. The blot button will set up necessary layers that will make mattifying oily skin patches very quick and easy. The highlight button will help enhance the highlights in your image, just like the highlighter in your makeup kit. Contour will set up layers that will allow you to enhance the contours of the face. The bronzer button will set up layers so that you can add depth and warmth to the skin, just like you would with a regular bronzer. The blush button will help to quickly add color to the cheeks. And with this setup, you can use the blush color of your choice or choose one of the tones from Jordan's blush palette that you can call out by pressing the palette button on the right. The foundation stick pro button is used for evening out luminosity inconsistencies in the skin tone. It comes with its own brush and allows you to make the skin surface look even by correcting both lightness and color blotchiness on the model's face, neck, and even the body while preserving the natural skin texture. The brush button next to the Foundation Stick Pro has just the settings you will need to paint with. We intentionally assigned very low impact settings to this brush so that the effect you're applying is very subtle and precise. Next, the colorful row of buttons is your color correctors, which are designed to work just like the actual color correctors in your kit. So there are the orange correctors. This script comes not just with one corrector shade, but with its own palette as these are the most commonly used corrector shades in makeup. Choose from the shade that fits the desired darkness you wish to correct on the model's face. Green corrector will help easily minimize or even eliminate red spots and patches. It is especially effective for fair and light skin tones to reduce the redness of inflamed blemishes. The purple corrector will help color correct yellow patches of the skin. It can also help when the foundation or powder looks too golden in the final images. And lastly, the blue corrector will help fight patchy spray tan. It's not a commonly used tool, but can help tone down any orangey tones on the skin. The next section is dedicated to fixing various details on the model's face. The eye drops button will help you brighten the eye whites and add light and contrast to the iris. It also has an option to change the color of the eyes. The lashes setup comes with its own custom brush and will allow you to strategically add additional singles for a very realistic look. 
Similarly, the Brows script will help you darken the brows and fill in some brow hairs using the same custom brush that we use for the lashes. The smoky eye script is pretty straightforward. You can apply or enhance the smoky eye makeup in your images. The eyeshadow script comes with its own palette and allows you to add, enhance or tweak an existing colored eyeshadow. The whiten teeth script is your digital instant teeth whitening. It brightens the teeth and removes unwanted discoloration. And lastly, the lipstick setup allows you to apply or change the lipstick shade in your image. It comes with its own palette and you can further brighten or darken it and add volume to the lips. The last section is dedicated to finishing off and also exporting your images. The liquify button will create a layer that you can use as one of your last editing steps to reshape the desired elements in your image. The sharpen button will make your image or specific parts of your image such as the hair, eyes or highlights on the lips look defined and crisp. Exporting the proper file size and format to post your images on the web might be confusing even to some photographers and retouches. But we took out all of the guesswork for you and with the MUA retouch panel, you can quickly export your images for your website, Instagram feed post or story. The save for web button will allow you to save your image for your website. It will preserve the crop and proportions of your image, but it will apply the optimal resolution and settings for posting it online. The Instagram stories, the Instagram 4x5 and 1x1 buttons will crop your image to the correct size and dimensions for each type of post. Instagram stories, vertical portrait and a square Instagram feed post. You can also easily add text or your personal watermark to your images and the pen icon will allow you to add your own watermark for this button. And lastly, at the very bottom of the panel, we've added direct links to some of our useful pages for your convenience. Each button has a little description pop-up so it will be easy for you to navigate. You can go straight to the page with our video tutorials for the panel scripts, to the bonus materials page in your member area, our Instagram page where we feature our users' images and inspiration posts every single day, you can also submit a support ticket for our customer support team and visit your member area to download installation files for the updated panels in future. Be sure to review the user manual included in the download package and watch our video tutorials for each section of the panel to learn how to correctly use each button.